You know, Pokemon Journeys is almost over now. In some of my previous videos, I've talked about my gripes about it, and even went on rants about certain characters. Today, however, is a much wider topic, and if you can read properly, which I'm sure you can, you know today's topic is about Johto. If you clicked on this video thinking I was going to be tackling Johto from the game's perspective, think again. The Pokemon anime left a lot of things untouched, and one of the biggest aspects was the Johto region itself. Honestly, where's the Johto representation in the Pokemon anime? In my honest opinion, I feel Johto has the least amount of representation of all the regions in the anime series. Why you ask? Well, let's find out. Before that though, if you like anime what ifs and fanfics, head over to Mystic Reads where I read those. I'm having a lot of fun with those projects. The link will be in the description below and in the iCard above. Alright, now let's start. As I mentioned in some of my previous discussions about Journeys, I've gone into certain characters that I wish would have shown up. But I guess the anime is so obsessed with putting characters on TV screens that we can't get that. Anywho, Johto gave us quite a list of characters that could have shown up. Jimmy, Marina, Silver, Casey, those are only a few. Ash and Jimmy could have easily battled during the Coronation series. Him being on the Magic TV screen also proves he's canon. Casey could have had this same treatment, but she's not as big as Jimmy. Okay, Mystic, there are other characters from other regions that deserve to be in the spotlight more than Casey and Jimmy. Fair point. Very fair point, actually. However, I'm gonna checkmate your ass right here. The anime has never shunned any light on Silver or any of the Team Rocket executives from the games. I get the whole aspect of keeping the games separate, but tell me why. We have had three lovable clowns getting blasted off nearly every single episode, and Giovanni hasn't had any real representation since Gen 5. Team Rocket is the most prominent evil team in the series because of Jesse, James, and Meowth. So my question is, why haven't we gotten any more backstory on this team and some of its most key members? I understand to a degree to keep some to the games only, but Silver is his son. Why have we never had any interaction with him and why haven't Jesse and James? Pokemon Journeys had a humongous opportunity to fix several aspects from the original Kanto and Johto series with the way it's been written. Silver's backstory has never been touched on, and we've never met any of the higher ups in Team Rocket. There is so much potential that can be done with Team Rocket, it's absolutely ridiculous. Jesse and James are too busy getting mons from a vending machine, getting their asses beat, rather than having a meaningful plot. Now, before you roast me for that comment, I will give Journeys props. I did like that callback to Butch and Cassidy that was made. It showed a life outside of Team Rocket and showed Jesse and James the possibilities of what could happen if they decided to quit, hence James and his bottle caps. I love that. Even with that though, there is no excuse why Giovanni can't get a proper close off. The Johto anime left us lacking a decent Team Rocket plot. The War Islands with Baby Lugia was mid at best. With Silver though, there could have been an entire plot revolving around him. Perhaps Team Rocket could have spied on him for Giovanni and we can get into what kind of a trainer he is. We obviously know Silver is a misguided trainer who mistreats his Pokemon and meeting Ash could probably trigger something in him like a change of some sort. Giovanni and him could get their own backstory and why Silver hates Team Rocket. I mentioned giving Giovanni proper closure to the series, and this could be a way to do that. We could also see how Silver views and treats other members of Team Rocket. Something else that was never touched on was his relationship between Jimmy and Marina. We only got like a second shadow shot of him in the Legends of Thunder intro, and that's it. Think about what would happen if Silver was relevant in the main series. It would be crazy if he was like a recurring character or something. I know Team Rocket took up the majority of the video, but it's true. Team Rocket plays an essential role in this series with the presence of Jesse and James. These are main characters that have been a part of the series since the very beginning, and I feel there could have been so much more done with Team Rocket. They take up a lot of Johto's lost potential. There are a few more things I want to touch upon though. One aspect is the GS Ball. 
In my opinion, it doesn't have as much merit as Team Rocket, but an episode where Go meets Kurt introducing him to a variety of Pokeballs would have been neat. I feel the GS ball could have been a neater concept to go with for a Celebi introduction for Go. Although I do understand that it's been a long time since this has been a thing. So it makes sense why it's been retconned and unused. I just thought it would be a neat callback or something. A few other aspects I want to touch upon are some of the landmarks in Johto. Mainly the towers in Ecrateek City and the Dragon's Den in Blackthorn. Before you tell me, yes, I am aware Ash and Go explored the towers a bit. However, there could have been a little more exploration and elaboration done. They could have gone more into the history, Ho-Oh, etc. Ash just said, hey, I saw Ho-Oh flying over the rainbow as a kid. And that was it. The towers make a huge part of Pokemon history. While we're on the subject of Ecrateek, where are the Kimono Girls? There could have been a cameo with them, especially with the introduction of three new evolutions since the last time we saw them. Lastly, we have the Dragon's Den. Tell me why, in the original Johto series, all we got was a big giant meadow, a bunch of Dragonair, and one Dragonite. I don't remember seeing anything in regards to the actual Dragon Shrine. There was nothing in regards to the trainer test, nor nothing that looks like the Dragon's Den from the game's perspective. This is an entire plot in its own right. The Shrine and the Elder teaches the aspect of how to properly treat your Pokemon and shows what it means to be a true trainer. That's how the games introduce that to us. One small thing is Karen. This is just me being biased, but it would have been raw to see Karen make an appearance. With her fire quote, this could have been a universal lesson to Ash even nowadays. Karen just plays a small part in the grand scheme of things though. Team Rocket is by far the most important piece in Johto's lost potential. Well, that wraps up my little discussion on how I feel Johto has some very lost potential in terms of what could have been done for the Pokemon anime. Team Rocket's plot could have been huge, and the other places that could have been explored definitely could have brought some spice to the Pokemon anime series. Silver, being Giovanni's son though, leaves a lot to be desired. Team Rocket as a whole offer a lot to the series, and filling in some of those holes could have done the Pokemon anime some real justice. What do you guys think though? Do you think Johto got enough representation, or do you think there could have been more? Share your thoughts with me in the comments below, and let's get some discussion going. Welcome back to the outro, folks, your favorite part of the video. Thank you for enjoying another Mystic Umbreon video. We made it through the end of the 8th generation, and now we begin the long trek into late 2022 where Pokemon Scarlet and Violet await us. It's a whole new world we'll live in, but we still gotta catch them all. However, there's still a ton of videos to do and experiences to have until then. If you're interested in more Mystic content, check out my TikTok and the Mystic Umbreon Shorts YouTube channel. If we get the 10k followers on TikTok, I'll be doing a viewer's choice video. If you like Genshin Impact, check out my Genshin channel Tevachinary. So if you all enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. See you next time.